It's October 2012. Superstorm Sandy barrels up the eastern seaboard from Florida to Maine. The storm leaves millions in the cold and dark. Dozens die. A star-studded relief effort helps the Red Cross rake in more than 300 million in donations. This is the untold story of that Red Cross relief effort. How one of the nation's most revered charities bungled its mission and misled the public. I think that we are near flawless so far in this operation. I'm just so proud of everything that we are doing on the ground. It is incredible. But confidential documents and insider accounts paint a different picture. They lost confidence in their ability to do the right thing. And so they did the next best thing, which is what can we do to make people think that we're doing the right thing? A previously undisclosed Lessons Learned memo shows how the Red Cross put public relations over the people it was supposed to help. As millions awaited emergency relief, some local residents took matters into their own hands. I mean, it looked like a war zone. Nothing from Thank them. You. Nothing. We had to give them blankets. That's right. Yes, we did. Where the Red Cross did deliver relief, storm victims were sometimes neglected or even put in harm's way. How did so much go so wrong? Red Cross officials blamed a lack of leadership and training for its failures. Is the Red Cross ready for the next disaster? Check out propublica.org slash Red Cross for the story.